Deadpool actor will become a billionaire and the richest actor ever. Ron Reynolds made movies that earned hundreds of millions of dollars, but movies won't make him the richest actor ever. A business will. Now, he has no genius knowledge of business and he won't make a world-changing innovation. So what is it? What will make him a billionaire? The answer will shock you. Marketing. Now, what does an actor know about marketing? Promoting a product isn't like promoting a movie. He didn't go to college to study marketing. In fact, he went to college for 15 minutes and then he packed his bag and moved to Los Angeles to pursue improv comedy. His family wasn't in marketing. His dad was a cop and his mother worked in retail. So he has no experience in marketing, but he has over 30 years of experience in making movies and knows how to tell a story. In January 2018, he started a production company named Maximum Effort, along with George Dewey, with whom Ryan worked closely on Deadpool. Months after that, Ryan required a stake in Aviation Gym. Ryan didn't just want to be an investor, he wanted to grow the company. Using Maximum Effort, Ryan started to create ads for Aviation Gym. Ryan is charming, funny, charismatic, down-to-earth and relatable. He likes to make fun of himself. That's why in his ad with Richard Branson, where they partnered up to serve aviation gin in Branson's airplanes, Ryan made fun of himself. We're even more focused on ROI, KPI, 3PO, EPS, and OMGWTF. Ryan. Yes, Sir Richard. Go easy on the business jargon. Just try to be yourself. Okay. Honestly, now that you say that, that's a bit of a relief, because I'm just, I'm a little nervous. Um, anyway. <clears throat> We at Aviation couldn't be prouder of today's announcement. And before anyone asks, no decision has been made yet as to which one of us will lead the combined entity henceforth known as AVA Virgination. AVA Virgination. That was a huge success, gathering almost 1 million views on YouTube. He has a unique and interesting strategy in marketing. It's called fast advertising. You take whatever is happening in the news and you start to create ads immediately about it. In 48 hours, they script, shoot, and publish the ad. Here is an amazing example. Peloton made an ad where the husband buys his wife an exercise machine. The girl had a facial expression of pain. The ad took internet by storm and dropped the valuation of the company by billion dollars. Ryan hired the same actress for the aviation gene ad where she drinks with her friends to recover for Peloton experience. The ad was a massive success, millions of views on social media and coverage of major news media companies. He made an ad for aviation gene with Nick Cannon about vasectomy. Fun fact. Nick Cannon has got 12 children. Do you know how much Ryan earned from these ads? $610 million when he sold the company to Diageo, the company that owns Johnny Walker, Smirnoff Vodka, Guinness, and 200 brands. With the rise of social media, brands can't rely on standard marketing. It's too easy to swipe off or click on. Ryan knows that. He uses this style of marketing in every company he buys. He bought Mint Mobile, a wireless carrier. Look at this ad that he made for the company. So we bought this spiffy stock footage for $500. Our footage also came with another hand, so we can let you know if you switch to Mint, you'll get three months free on all of our plans. 6.4 million views. He doesn't change the company. He says that the companies are already perfect. His job is just storytelling, aka marketing. This year, he sold Mint Mobile for $1.35 billion. From his 25% stake, he earned $337.5 million, which was more than he earned his entire acting career. In 2020, he got in major news coverage by buying Rexham FC, that was in fifth league for $2 million. Now, why would he buy a club that's in a low league? Well, he says that he likes the community, that he loves that the players are playing for love, not money. Wrexham is the oldest football club and plays in the oldest stadium. He already got his investment back. By making a docuseries about the club, earning Wrexham $3.2 million. The club won the league and got promoted to fourth league for first time in 15 years. They think that they can go to Premier League. For that, they need millions in funding and also win leagues to get promoted. But Luton Town, the newest club in Premier League, was in the same position nine years ago as Wrexham is now. While watching interviews about Ryan and Wrexham, I personally think that Ryan does this for love. 
and not to grab cash. I mean, Wrexham can go to Premier League and be sold for billions as other clubs in Premier League are, but Ryan will earn his billions way sooner from other investments. One of the investments is Alpine F1 team. Formula One is a growing sport in the US. In June 2023, Ryan and his investor group bought 24% of the team for $218 million. That 24% could be billions soon because the sport gathers massive fans in the US and there is no sign of stopping. Besides Formula One, he likes to invest in Canadian companies. One is well simple a wealth management service that raised $750 million, giving it a valuation of $5 billion. Next is password management software called OnePassword. The company raised $620 million in 2022 and is valued at $6.8 billion. In 2023, Ryan and Remington Group made a bid for Ottawa Senators a hockey team. They wanted to buy the team and build a new arena. The bid was more than $1 billion and the team is worth $800 million. And lastly, Nuve, a fintech company. Nuve is something like Stripe and could be huge because of Ryan's marketing. Um, actually, Ryan, we're more of a payments company. That's rude. It's not very Canadian of you. Will one of these companies make him a billionaire or some future ones? Well, we don't know. But I'm 100% sure that Ryan will reach billionaire status in a few years. His ability to make these boring companies like Alcohol Mobile look amazing is something few people can do. They were not a revolutionary businesses and are in an industry where the competition is huge. But because of Ryan's marketing, they managed to break through and sell for millions and billions. In 2023, he invested tons of money and he started with investing in 2018. So don't forget, Ryan is still a growing entrepreneur. Unless he changes his personality and becomes boring, which will make people not want to consume his content. There is no way of stopping him. Preparing for this video, I have watched a lot of interviews of Ryan Reynolds. I can genuinely say that this guy has a real passion for business and is passionate about every investment he makes. So I wish him the best of luck. If you like this type of content and you like business content and business stories, please consider subscribing. Bye!